All right, guys, it is Friday. I'm here on the highway. A little more traffic than what we've been having. There's a car in front of me. I'm gonna slow down. I'm doing a little over 100, um, which is it's roughly 65. But my, my goal, again, is just to kind of stay with the speed limit that everybody else is doing. I don't want to stick out. I don't want the police to see me and say, hey, where the heck is that guy going so fast? So I'm pretty sure they're pulling everybody over when they see anybody. Um, I know they've had some issues in the area, uh, the village where my gym is at. Uh, I know today they've got some electri electrical issues going on in the areas. We've had some pretty big storms blowing through today. Hail yesterday and uh, sandstorms yesterday. It was uh, it's killing everybody's allergies, so everybody's coughing today. So um, anyway, I wanted to get you guys some video of me heading to the gym, give you an idea of what we're looking at on the highway. Let me get there and I'll fill you in some more. All right, stopped here. Pharmacy. Got some medicine. This Eleni's the pharmacist here. She's open all the time in the village. Doesn't have the same hours as the cities because you're, uh, she's in the village. She's the only one here, so. Uh, but she's pregnant, expecting this month. So she's, she's not working, obviously. And uh, she's got two other people in there working for great people. Um, take a lot of extra measures in the, the pharmacy. You gotta clean your hands before you go in. Uh, I think one person in the pharmacy at a time, because it's a really small one. And they've got markers on the floor reminding you to stand a distance. Uh, they've got a plexiglass wall between them and you. And there's a bus, there's a bus. They're completely empty. Um, but uh, my wife needed some barcotin, uh, Tylenol. It's a Tylenol with codeine uh, over the counter. And then uh, I saw them wearing masks and I've only got one here. I think one at the gym and one at home. So I wanted to ask if they had out of masks, uh, but they've got the ones that are 20 euros. Look like some pretty cool ninja looking masks. So I got one for me and one for my wife. Don't, didn't really have the money, but you know, I don't know. I feel better knowing that we've got an extra mask somewhere if we need it. And they're washable too. She said they were washable and washable, which not that we have a machine anyway. So anyway, getting here close to the gym, gonna park. Time is short as always with this. Uh, so I've got to get, get some training done and then get home. Little schoolhouse on house, US 19. The people get the city clean. They call it Nut Bush. Ah, oh, Nut Bush. Nut Bush City Limit.
right, guys, I'm moving. Just because we only have a small amount of time, we can be away from the house. Uh, stopping there, I did, uh, I think, nine sets of normal speed bench, and then uh, five sets of singles, and then put my shirt on. Uh, shirt is still really baggy. I can tell that I need to gain some weight back. I can tell that I've dropped weight and uh, it'll come back. Forearms, arms, um, chest, entire upper body. I can tell wearing my uh, Spud Ink bow tie that, uh, that I've lost weight because it's a little big. So um, anyway, instead of continuing to push the flat bench, elbows are a little rusty. I'm gonna stop there because I've got some stuff I wanna work on on the incline. And I think the incline is a little more important right now uh, to transfer over to my log press and axle press. So I'm just slowly switching things over, get some warm ups. Um, I want to do a, probably fours this week and then some singles at the end. And then uh, maybe play with some stability work on inclines as well. So let's see what we can get done. guys what to say uh, they came and turned the electricity back on today as well um, store behind that basically I take electricity from the building next to me uh, it looks just like this place that nobody's lived in it in years um, had an agreement with the guy who had the rights to that side and I paid the electricity uh, he just kind of disappeared a while back and as it turns out um, he passed away uh, I didn't know anything about it and then his son passed away two months later which was two months ago uh, so I guess that left it one month without paid 
and then they could disconnect it in here. I've been a month without electricity, so I uh, got everything transferred over today. Got all the information that way I can take care of everything from now on. So um, it's absolutely horrible, but uh, moving in the right direction. Uh, bench press wasn't bad. Took care of what I need to do. I love my bench press to be moving in the right direction, but my log press and incline press is moving in the right direction, and everything can't go up at the same time. It's really rare that more than one thing goes up at the same time, at least not for very long. Uh, moved over to inclines that I just finished. It may be difficult to follow. I've got all my numbers up here on the board behind you guys. I've been sticking with these numbers for the long term, and I can't say that I've been able to turn everything over into huge PRs, uh, but the amount of work that I'm able to do throughout a pressing session has greatly increased by, by sticking with this. So I, I last week I did fives up to uh, 185, which was normally my fours number. So this week I stuck with fours all the way through that and up to 197, I stuck with fours. Last week I did 197 for a single and then took a couple of singles after that. So this week instead of taking it for a single, I did it for four and then went one set after I believe as well for four and then took my singles. Uh, so that in itself is progress. And I'm still continuing to use the closer grips, trying to keep a little bit more of the strain off of the shoulders, still feel up my pec a little bit, um, and keeping it as much into my triceps as possible. Ooh, I'm tired, if you can't tell. Uh, and then I finished off with some incline JM presses. Those are just absolutely wonderful. Um, I need to add those in several times a week. Uh, either home or here. Uh, as long as they don't bother your elbows, those are absolutely magical to build your bench press, your incline, your log press, your axle, uh, your dumbbell even. Absolutely wonderful for all pressing, as long as you do them in a manner that doesn't bother your elbows. And then I finished off with some incline sandbag press. That thing is definitely wet and weighing a little bit more than it normally does uh, from the rain today. So. Solid training session. I need to get home tonight, do some reverse hypers, maybe warm up on some squats and some demo deadlifts. Need to get my lower body just slightly pumped. Um, I'm down in body weight, but if I can get my muscles pumped, I can fuel them and fill them back up with glycogen, uh, blood, increase recovery, and that turns into an increase body weight. Uh, less chance for dehydration as well with frequent training. Um, but that's basically it. I've got to get on the road. I've got to get out of here. That way I can get home before I get in trouble. So I'm going to tear everything down, get in the car, try to shoot some video on the way home. And then if I train tonight, I'll get some more video to you guys. Have a good one. Radio a little bit here. A couple of cars up here. I prefer to drive around some people. I'm doing the speed limiter under. Everybody else is trying to do pretty much the same thing. Nobody wants to uh, be in an accident or look like they're breaking the law, that's for sure. And then every once in a while, a car will just fly by me that you know, I never even see. So the roads are still pretty bare, which is fine. It's absolutely great. Um, and I've got about 10 to 15 minutes before I have to be home. You know, people have been saying that the, you know, the cops are okay, you know, as long as you've got permission, everything is fine. Uh, but, you know, you still, I, I don't want to risk anything. I don't want to find the, the police officer on a bad day. I don't want to say the wrong thing. So, here comes somebody flying by me. Now I'm doing 115. He's just going by me like crazy. So, I'll slow down a little bit. But, uh, you know, I want to abide by the law. I want to be one of the people that gets us out of this situation as quickly as possible. I want to be one of those people that uh, the government and the police look at and say, hey, here's somebody else we can trust not to screw things up and uh, to make this place better, not worse. If we want to argue about rights, we'll argue about rights when all this is over. But uh, right now, I just want to get through it. I want to get back to training, get life a little closer to normal. Coming into town here, this is normally this, yeah, this time of day on a 
Friday night. You're normally fighting to get through traffic here. You're definitely not doing the speed limit. You're doing way under or way over uh, to get in here. You gotta be careful because the police are, they'll wait up here um, at this little space just to catch you speeding um, as you get off at the exit. This is the roundabout by my house. Um, it's the first roundabout coming into town. I'm hoping I can give you guys a, an idea of what it looks like coming through here and what my, what my little village area looks like uh, where my house is. There's normally a lot of people out walking right now and it's almost eight o'clock in the evening. So a lot of people, it's cold today, cold for us anyway. I don't know what the temperature is, uh, 70s, um, it's, it's cold for us, but uh, a lot of people are normally out walking this time of night, trying to get their last walk in uh, before curfew starts. Man, it's just, it's so dead for us right here. Just right back where I came from. Really is a beautiful country. None of this was here when I moved here, though. Constantly advancing. My wife's school is, and son's school is right here, where you get off at the exit. Let's see if we can drive by. The police here the other day, when they're not here watching me hold my phone. What the hell are I going to drop this sucker like it's hot? No police. There's the school. Put gates around it to keep people from, from getting in and vandalizing stuff. This is, actually I guess people are out doing their last bits of whatever they need to get done. Um, there's delivery. Could that be Mick delivery? Let's see who that is. No, that's another delivery service. People are getting their last bits done before curfew, which is at nine o'clock. Should be no reason for anyone to be outside after nine o'clock, according to what the government wants us to do. This is my street here. As you can see we park on the sidewalk, walk in the street. Absolutely, I knew I would catch somebody walking in the street. Not that you can walk on the sidewalk. It's amazing, it's amazing. Feels like Kentucky without the crickets. There's my house. Come in here, turn around, come back, park out front. I may have gotten home unscathed yet again. I mean, I got permission, so. Let's hope everything at home has gone well. I don't have to beat anybody when I get in the door. Cousin's house right there, connected to ours. Share the same back porch. Sneak back out there and get home. Where do you think I'm gonna park? Of course, this is Cypress. Got my car parked in the driveway. I'm gonna park on the sidewalk too. I mean, if you can do it, might as well. You know what I'm saying? 